If you give up now, how do you know you won't make a name for yourself creating films in the future? It's just a review. Except they're pretty well-known critics. Why does that matter? They aren't the ones calling the shots on this. Isn't that why they have a committee? Right, Becca? Failing means you're playing, Zack. Uh, not that I'm saying it's bad. I've seen it from start to finish, and I know for myself what you created isn't something people should scoff at. I don't know anything about filming or photography. Hell, I don't have an inkling of artistry in me except for those doodles I make for class, but I know what I watched. Look at Isabella. It's not every day you see her all riled up like this. It was a heat of the moment thing. And anyway, I'll be very angry with you if you quit. What about the exhibit? What exhibit? Classified information. Even if I bring you your favorite tonight? Nope, not a chance. Oh, come on. I thought we aren't supposed to have secrets. <laughs> Thanks, you two. Uh, I might need some time alone to myself for a while. Just to think about things, how I'll go from here, that sort of stuff. Hey, I'm not quitting, Bella. Don't give me that face. You promise? I'll be damned if I break any promise I make to you guys. Besides, you're right. It's too early to say anything right now. What's night ain't for another week? Hanging up. <laughs> Don't, I'm kidding. BRC says the floor plan copies are ready for Miss McCullough to pick up. I'm stuck in horrendous traffic right now. Bloody stupid drivers. Stop! Leave me alone! <laughs> Bella, you okay? I 
You were screaming, having a fit! Zack, call someone! No, don't. I'm good. I'm good. I need... I need to get to the office. Rose, the floor plans. Someone's going to pick it up. I I'll see you later. Be careful. Don't stand up yet. Stay put, Isabella. Zack, you watch over her for me. I'll call for... Uh, for someone. Thank you so much for spamming my inbox with the same message, Scaredy Cat. Hey, Ash. What's wrong? I just had a long day. The couple who bought the house wanted us to finish processing the papers within the week. It's a little hectic, but we'll manage. Really? You sold it? Don't sound so surprised. I told you, you don't stand a chance. The rights won't take no for an answer. You've been on the losing end from the very start. Ha! Whoever said I was interested in the house in the first place? But you said... <coughs> You're such an ass. And just so you know, I'm not treating you to a separate celebration. Or ever. No, that's just unfair. And here I was looking something up for you. Didn't you say you wanted to talk to Andrew? Is he... is he okay with that? Totally. Besides, I need to ask him about something. I might as well do it soon. What do you say you come with me tomorrow morning? Well, there's no harm in it, I suppose. I've got a free day anyway. Great, I'll just pick you up. Don't oversleep. Don't compare me to you. I'm not the one who sleeps like a rock. <laughs> Good morning, Ash! K. 
Can you even drive? Hold on, scaredy cat, not too fast. That hurts! What was that for? Get yourself together, will you? He's not going to bite. He's very accommodating, too. Scared of him or anything? You don't look like it. Didn't sound like you and Kay last night either. What was that last one? Hey! Don't just ignore me! Professor Clark. It's just Andrew now. I'm no longer your professor, Detective Inspector Frey. Quite some time, but I come here early on weekends. Best time to get their first serving of bear claws. <laughs> They're the only place that serves it here. I took the liberty of ordering for you two. I hope you don't mind. I thought it'd be best to talk over a decent helping of coffee. Aren't you going to introduce the lady? Ah, right, sorry. Isabella, this is Prof. Andrew. He's one of my professors back at the university. Andrew, this is Isabella Santos. Santos? Portuguese? Spanish? Brazilian? Mexican? Filipina, actually. It's a pleasure to meet you, Professor. Ah, your name carries a lot of history, Miss Santos. Just Andrew was fine. Don't do what Ashton's doing. He doesn't listen to this old man. Ashton tells me there's something you wish to discuss that I could help with. Let's hear it then. letter I found. But I don't know anymore. I 
just want to know how to escape this nightmare. Of course. We're talking about the one in Anselm Village, aren't we? How did you... <laughs> Don't look so surprised. There's only one place popular enough here if we're going to talk about hauntings. I once had a colleague who wrote about it and the urban legends surrounding the place. Years worth of study, but fascinating nonetheless. It's a shame he passed away at such a young age. He would have done a much better job at explaining topics like this one compared to me. Ashton here might disagree, but it's an interesting topic in sociology, if you care to have an open mind. Studying the science and theory behind it is completely different from outright believing in it. You don't believe in those stories, sir? Now, now, this isn't a question of belief. All I'm saying is things like these speak a lot about a place's culture and history. And it's not just limited to ghosts. Monsters, gods, you name it. Even you, Miss Santos. What about me? How you respond to these stories. It tells a lot about you and your upbringing, in the same way it tells me why our detective inspector here finds such topics absurd. Interesting, isn't it? There's still something you're not telling. Didn't I tell you everything the other day? Yeah, but you mentioned the rights, then you proceeded to drop the topic right after. What's with that? They don't have anything to do with this! Rights? Luke and Hana right? Yeah, they're the ones who got the place. Ah, uh, I'm not surprised. They're the kind who gets what they want when they set their eyes on it. From what I've heard, word gets around, especially with a pretty well-known couple like them. Ashton, look here. I know you're trying to help, but the deal's almost already closed. The papers are being prepared. Once it's done, it's over. I'm just their agent. And when is that happening? When what? Is there even a purpose to this line of questioning? Your working relationship with them. When's it going to end? About a week from now? It depends on how long the papers will take, but they want us to rush it. Really? You're absolutely sure about that? Yes, really. Unless they want to buy a house again and want me and Rose to be their agent. If yes, then I don't see a problem with it. Now stop annoying me about it! Don't accept it. What? Why? It's my job! Now, now, kids, settle down. We're not going to solve anything by shouting. Sorry, Sir Andrew. And we're not going to solve anything either if you keep omitting things. Speak for yourself. I'm not the only one doing it. You'll have to forgive my former student, Miss Santos. He's always been the curious kind. Many people think he's lazy, but it's actually the opposite. <laughs> I see that hasn't changed. Oh, really? How is he back when he was your student? I'm sorry, I need to ask. He doesn't talk much about that. And there's a reason why. Please don't. <laughs> Tried to sleep on the first day of class. He didn't repeat it after what I made him do when I caught him. Students like him are the easiest to deal with, once you know what piques their interest. I'd have to say, he's one of the very few who is actually interested in the subject, though. Ah, 
But there was this one time when... Miss Santos, a word of advice. If this is truly what you think it is, just keep in mind that when it comes to cases such as this, they aren't always what they seem. Where are we going? You can drop me off at the park. Guess. You have three chances. I'm serious, Ash. Where are we going? Here, take it. What's this for? My arm's getting tired. Five, four, three, two. Saw the place open the other day, when we watched Zack's movie. Thought I should give it a try. It doesn't seem like a bad place to get food from time to time. And you're giving me free ice cream because... Do I need to have a reason? Are you really going to ask me that? I, uh, the other day, the movie with Zack and Rebecca, Rebecca's there, yeah, I think so, yeah, anyway, during the movie, we, uh, that is, you, that's to say, you, uh, we, uh, shit, should have written down something first. Get to the point, Ashton. Right, I'm sorry. N not, I'm sorry for, you know, not getting to the point, I'm sorry for the other day. I got carried away. I said things that upset you. I shouldn't have done that. I'm sorry. Oh. Oh. Okay. Okay? That's all? That's all you're going to say? You're not still angry, are you? You didn't have to buy me anything. A simple sorry would have been enough. <laughs>